Good morning, everyone. And yes, you are all on the right committee. I uh, hope you're all ready to talk about property tax reductions. Uh, good morning. I'm Steve Matteo. I'm subbing and uh, pinch hitting for our, our chair, uh, Danny Drum, who's uh, overseas and unable to be here today. So uh, we are joined by Council Members Lanceman, Jonai, Lewis, uh, Carnegie, Powers, Majority Leader Cumbo, and Council Member Barry Grudenchik. Today, the committee will be voting on three items, a transparency resolution and two Article 11 property tax exemptions. First, we have the transparency resolution. The transparency resolution sets forth the new designation and changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving local aging and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. Organizations appearing in the resolution that have not yet completed the pre-qualification process conducted by the Mayor's Office of Contract Services, the Council, or another entity are identified in the attached charts with an asterisk. As with transparency resolutions, Council members will have the have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any council member has a potential conflict of interest with any of the organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have, have with proposed subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcontractor can be approved. Benjamin Smith from the General Counsel's Office is here and can assist you with any questions or concerns regarding the disclosures. Next, we have the land use items. The first is Catherine Sheridan Apartments in Councilmember Constantinides District, which will provide a partial 40-year Article 11 tax exemption to support the preservation of 241 units of affordable rental housing. The second is Lafayette Morrison Apartments in Councilmember Salamanca's District in the Bronx, which would amend a 32-year Article 11 tax exemption previously granted by the Council in 2018 to correct a miscalculation of the partial property tax exemption. All of the Council members in the relevant districts are supportive of these actions. For specific details on each of these projects, please see the memorandum prepared by the Finance Division staff, which is available online on the Council's website and part of the official record. Those are all of today's items. Any members have any questions? We've also now been joined by uh, Council Members Adams and Gibson. And with that, I will now ask Billy Martin, the Community Clerk, to call the roll. <clears throat> All items are coupled. Council Member Matteo. Yes. Gibson. Aye. Cornegie. Aye. Cumbo. Aye. Lanceman. Aye. Grodenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye. Jonai. Aye. Moya. Powers. Aye. Lewis. Aye. Like a vote of 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. All right. Uh, we've also been joined by, obviously, by Councilmember Moyer, who just voted. So thank you all. This uh, is the end of the Finance Committee hearing. We are not going to vote on property tax reductions, unfortunately. I don't have the votes from all of you, but have a nice day. <laughs>